Hello, viewers. This is Tim Michael from Screenview, bringing you a new podcast for my segment called The Super Sentai Review. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I'll try to do my best not to breathe so hard during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cost any audio feedback as well. And finally, and finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change to adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change to adult language. Now, if you're over 18, that means you're good to watch this to the watch this watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, let's get into let's get into the latest episode of Kill Major. So see the episode starts off where all the Kill Majors watching a watching a strange soap opera that Shigeru, aka Kime Blue, was is started on. So basically, they're watching this weird soap opera that that Shigeru, aka Kime Blue, is on. So basically, this so this this soap opera is. In my opinion, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of fucking strange to me. So anyway, after they watched, the, after they watch, so basically, you know, after they watch the episode, so basically, Shibu has been starring a soap opera show, and you know, and the others were watching the episode of him, of him, of him in the soap opera. So basically, you know, the others who, the others thought, you know. So, like, you know, it was, they kind of liked it, they kind of liked the episode. So, anyway, Shigeru, so once the episode ended, Shigeru was getting ready to go, uh, ready to go shoot another, uh, to go shoot another episode, uh, another final episode for the soap opera show that he's been, star- that he's been starring in. So, anyway... So anyway, it seems like everybody, it seems like, you know, it seems like, you know, it seems like everybody was like, you know, uh, was kind of happy that Shigeru is, you know, is doing this, is happy that Shigeru is doing this soap opera. So anyway, and that's what my, that's what my you said that, you know, you, maybe you guys should go, or go to the, uh, go to, go to Shigeru's film, uh, of the, uh, go to the film set of the soap opera just in case the Yodahai, just in case the bad guys show up and try to, you know, try to, you know, try to attack the, uh, attack the film, the, the soap opera film location. So basically, the other characters agree, you know, and that's when Takamishi, you know, is trying to notice that he was trying to try to talk to his foster sister Princess Mom Senna again. But you know like you know, he was trying to he was trying to you know, you know, try to talk to her, you know, have a conversation with her. But she was not trying to she was not trying to listen to talk uh, she was not trying to listen to talk to me because she is still pissed that, you know, she wasn't in uh, he, she, you know, she's still pissed that he was, he wasn't there. Who, you know, he was there when, you know, when the bad guy, you know, took over the, took over the planet, and plus, and plus he was, and plus he was being an asshole, or and the way he was being an asshole to towards everybody, you know, and, you know, and the way he he was being an asshole. So basically, you know, she was still mad at him still for not to still not being there when the when the planet needed their help, and you know, and the way. He and he, the way he acted before, uh, dates to Gato's bad advice that he get, get, got from Gazo. So anyway, so anyway, Shigeru said, yeah, she's still not talking to you. Yes, but still, I, I have a way to uh, her to let her to talk to me. So it turns out that people, like, turns out that, it turns out that, you know, uh, that uh, people are like being, like, you know, people, uh, it, it, a and B is like uh, the Princess Mom Cinder has to uh, can talk to uh, talk to other uh, other uh, others with uh, with uh, uh, with telepathy. So basically, like you know, Princess Mom Cinder has you know has te- telepathy powers that she can use to talk to talk to you know, like you know talk to other pe- people of her race. So basically, since you know since Takemichi has a camera still inside his body, he's can 
capable of doing, he's capable of doing this ability. So basically, you know, so basically Takemichi was trying to, you know, was trying to communicate with Ma, Ma, with Mavisina through, uh, through, through their mind, but it seems like, it, it seems like, it seems like, it, it seems like that, that, that it didn't work, but, or, or she didn't, uh, or she was just annoying, uh, was, uh, uh, or she was just annoying Takamishi, um, was trying to, you know, hard to talk for her, uh, through her, through their minds and shit like that. That. So basically, Princess Marvel said to decide to go out. You know, Princess. So basically, Princess Marvel said to decide to go outside to go get the fresh air. So anyway, so basically, so basically, left, so basically, Princess Marvel said left the headquarters and went outside to go get the fresh air. Meanwhile, somewhere, uh, somewhere uh, at the bad guys hide up somewhere in space. I assume somewhere, somewhere in space. You know, Darth was looking for Carl as well. And he was not at he was not at the base for some reason. So basically, God was like, "What the hell?" Or like you know, God was looking for Carlos to see what type of marksman that he a type of marksman and what type of Yodelheim marksman lieutenant that he made this time and a type of and a type of new and a type of new marks mark beast monster that he made this time as well. But he couldn't find where Carlos is. So anyway, so basically, so anyway, while, while outside, while outside, she, while outside, Princess Bob said it noticed, noticed something, noticed something, noticed something strange going on in the area, in the, in the nearby area, so, by, by near, so blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, I got a tongue tie. So basically, while outside, a person's mom said they noticed something strange going on in the area that she was in, the, in the area that she was in in the city. So basically, when she went to go desiccate, and she accidentally bumped into Carl Angela, into Carl Angela, who was he was turning people into these little bobblehead dolls over. Again, uh, green, uh, over, over again, a uh, green light, red light. So basically, Carl Ransom is on Earth and turning people into uh, little bobblehead dolls, you know, forcing these people, forcing, uh, you know, forcing people to to play a game, a red light, green light. So basically, if you lose the game, you know, if you lose the game, you get turned into a little bobblehead doll, and you get put into a little barrel. So basically, you know, Princess Mom started accidentally stumbling on Carousel playing, you know, playing a game of red light, green light with a bunch of humans, you know, and they and they're being turned into, uh, they're being turned into bo little bobbleheads, little bobblehead dolls. It's the Lose and shit like that. So basically, Princess Marvel is trapped, trapped playing a a, a crazy ass game with a crazy ass game a red light, green light with you know with Carlansla. So anyway, meanwhile on on the set, you know everything was going smooth on the on on on, on the on the film set until until Takemichi ruined the shot, ruined the film, favored by by using his morpher to and using his morpher to locate a camera still on the set. So basically, you know everything was peaceful on the on the set the set. So basically, the show will Silver and his co star were doing an excellent job filming this latest episode of of this of this of the show of this soap opera that he's on, but in last one talk me to moving the shot after after his mother attacked them there might be a camera still uh, uh, there's a camera still on the set. So basically, you know so they the director got pissed off about that and but talk me to was like, you know, hey hey my mother said there there's a possibility there's a camera still here. I'm gonna I'm gonna 
started to I'm going to check it out. So basically, he started to use his started to dig, to dig, to dig at dig, and you know, to dig where the where his mouth you know located the located the Kimmy stone on the set. So anyway, so basically, Sigmund had to had to convince the the corrupt to this the the director that, you know, we should go film somewhere else because, you know, or had to, had no sense that to convince the director to go film this, uh, go film this episode somewhere else. So, anyway, meanwhile, the others here, the others who decided to go to, you know, go do something else is after, you know, after talking to me during the filming. So, basically, like, the other characters was like, you know, said talking to me during the film. Filming, they, they decide to go, they decide to go do something else, and that's when they stumble on put oh, on put this mom's playing, 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 you know, playing, playing, you know, they stumble on put this mom's center, you know, playing the game of Red Light Green Light with Carl Ansela. So basically, the Cuban Majors had not met Carl Ansela yet. So basically, they assumed that Carl Ansela was a marksman who kid it. So, but uh, Carl Ansela said, "No, I'm not." a marksman I'm not a marksman you lieutenant I am a general who makes the marksman lieutenants and the marksman beasts that you guys fight. So basically, you know, the Kim uh, uh, uh so basically General General Thomas Hall and Seda and 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 Seda uh, and Seda were, were finally introduced to Carl Angela. So basically Carl Angela said that say you guys are now trapped in the barrier in my barrier. So basically the only way out of my barrier out of my barrier if you guys if you guys if you guys beat me at red light green light so basically like you know so basically Carl Rancher is just the guy who who you who has green light green light green light and then red light so basically all you got to do is just tag me so basically oh so if you do that all the people that I turn to ball head of will turn back to novel and the barrier will be I'll I'll I will, I will. I will unlist the barrier. So basically, the King Major had no choice but to play, play red light, green light. So basically, so basically, at the first, at the first two seconds, you know, at the first, at the first two minutes, you are playing red light, green light with Carl Anderson, you know, you know, Sato, aka King Major Payton. So basically, at the first five. Five minutes of put I mean, at the first uh, five minutes or so, playing red light, green light, you know, Sado, uh, Sado, aka Kimmy Green, a and and Sado, aka Kimmy Pink, were 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 turned into bobbleheads at the after the first five minutes playing red light, green light with with Carl Angela. So anyway, so anyway, meanwhile, back at the back at the filming set, you know, so but back at the back at the filming. Set, you know, Sugar went to go see and went back to went to go see that you know it talked me he found the kill my stone that his mouth was uh, located that he couldn't find the kill my stone. So basically, that's where Sugar said maybe the kill my stone is in the statue, and and that's when he, and that's the talking me to is like you know you know, use mouth to scan the statue and it, it turns out the turns out it, it, it turns out that he was right. So basically, he used his shiny breaker to, uh, to you know, to uh, to you know, to free the stone from the statue. Turns out it was a monster. It turned out it was not a killing stone. It was a monster. So basically, his mother can pick up the uh, pick up the uh, pick up the uh, pick up the uh, pick up thicknesses of the kill. A Kimmy stone, but you know, since a monster is so, it's so like a type of Kimmy stone, it can't tell the difference between a regular Kimmy stone and a, and a monster. And a monster. So anyway, the monster transform into transform and starts to attack. Attack Sugar and and, and start, start to attack Sugar and, and Takamichi. So basically, working kind of working together, then able to defeat the monster and and the monster turn back into a normal stone. And Takamichi put the, put the monster in, in a special containment unit in a special containment 
the, in the second containment unit made by a cat. So anyway, so basically, he should be with that, you know, you know, he, I know you trying to, you know, we're trying to get, talk to me to about, about how he can, how can he, you know, how can he make it up to Marvel Center after, after being an asshole and not being there for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for his foster father when, when his, uh, when his evil foster uncle and, and the bad guy took over the planet. So basically, like, you know, me used to, so basically talking to me, when, when I was, in, when I was on Krista, you know, I could, you know, talk with each other like, like I was her own for, never treating her as a prophet, but she was treating me as a, you know, as a real brother, I was treating her as, as a, as my real sister. So basically, blah, blah, blah. But ever since, you know, ever since I went away, you know, went away, you know, and got that bad advice from God, you know, our relationship changed. So basically, you know, I want to fix our. I want to get our relationship back to back to back to back to it was. But I want to get our relationship back. I want to get my relationship back with Princess Marvel Cinder as her brother. So basically, like Sugar Ray said, don't worry. Don't worry. It might take some time, but I think you. I think you will get. You get your relationship, but your brother and sister relationship back with Princess Marvel Center. So anyway, so anyway, so basically, you know, Takemichi and Ch Takemichi and Chibu got contacted by Mario and say and say that the others are in trouble, yeah. trouble somewhere. So basically, they stood up on the scene, and, and you know, Princess Marvel Center was still, Princess Marvel Center, the Jeru and and Tom Toa was still put were still playing red light, green light with Carantula and that so basically before you know, for Takemichi and the, the and Shigeru showed up, you know you know, you know, Joe and uh, Joe aka Kim A Red and Tom Toro aka Kim and Yellow got turned into bottlehead dolls. <laughs> If, before they showed up to help the others, and before they showed up on the scene. So anyway, she thought she like Princess she like Princess Marvel said it was coming close to winning the game of Red Light Green the Green Light against Carl Rantula. So anyway, when she, when Sugar and Takamichi showed up, you know they was you know, they, they was trying they were cut off from Princess Marvel Center. So basically, like you know. So basically, yeah, so basically, they came up with the idea, to, they came up with the idea to attack Carmichael by digging with drills in on the underground and, and attacking, attacking Carmichael from underground using, using the drills in Zord. But, but they were scared that, you know, if they do that, you know, Princess Marvel might get too close to Carmichael and might get, and might get hurt. So basically, like, you know, so basically, like, you know, see. So basically, like, you know, Sugar said that you need to use your mental powers to tell, tell Princess Marvel Cinder about our plan. So basically, like, talk to Mickey, which was focusing his, his mental powers to tell Princess Marvel Cinder that you know, they, had, they had a plan. So basically, it seems like, you know, seems like that, you know, Princess Marvel Cinder was not getting, was not getting the mental message and whatnot. But, you know, they had, but they had no choice but to trust trust that Princess Marvel Cinder got the mental got the, talking with these mental message. So anyway so anyway so, so anyway so basically so basically like you know so basically they went on with that plan. So basically talking with you Jason to attack Carl Ansla, it turns out that it turns out that Princess Marvel did get the mental message from Taki and managed to get out of the way get out of the get out of the way once Jason once Jason attacked Carl Ansla, and she she made sure that all the people who turned to Bobhead dolls were safe for when Jason 
Josie came out uh, uh, on the ground and attacked Carl Angela. So basically, uh, she and Princess Marvel ended up winning the game, and El 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 everybody who was telling to bubble heads were, were, were turned back to normal. So anyway, so basically, Carl Wesson was pissed and summoned a, a, summoned a mock beast monster to attack the kill rangers, and, you know, and he just disappeared, and he, and he, you know, tried to retreat back to his headquarters. So anyway, using the power of using the power of the K Major and the and the and, and the power of the Jersey Zord, uh uh Takarishi Jersey Zord, they was able to defeat the Mark Beast Monster with it with it what a what was a what was it was the monster but you know that you know you know that game cost the wings and shit. So basically it was a, it, it was the monster was based off a, you know, that little who Ooh, that wing hook game, some shit like that. But anyway, they was able to defeat the they was able to defeat the Rock Feast Monster against to the power of the Kimmy's Megatron and the help from the Jason Zord. So anyway, you know and so basically Princess Marvel sent out so basically after the Kimmy just defeated the defeated the Mark Feast Monster, Princess Marvel Center said, I heard you the first time back at the base but I was just annoying you. So basically like you know and I also heard you when he, when you tell me about the plan, but I didn't. I didn't want the bad guy to to. Uh, I didn't want the bad guy to you uh, to catch on on, on on the plan that you that you guys executed to defeat him and whatnot and help him win the game of red light green light against Carl Isla. So basically, things were back. So basically the next day they watched the so basically so basically the next day they watched the episode they watched the new episode of the Soul Father that Sugar was in, you know, and seems like you know and seems like everything was seems like Takamichi and and, and, and Marvel Center were speaking to each other again. So basically like you know, seems like you know seems like you know uh, seems like Princess Marvel Center and you know, and Takamichi were speaking to each other again, you know. Yeah, no no no, no. So basically, Princess Marvel Center was not was no longer being. Uh, I know you know is talking to uh, talking Mishi now. No, 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 no. Sorry, the punk out. No longer annoy him every time he talks to talks to us. So basically, everything seems like seems like you know everything seems okay. Meanwhile, back at meanwhile back at the headquarters of the of the Yonha Empire, you know, Carl came back came back came back to came back to came back from Earth, and and God was like, "Where the hell have you been at?" He said, "I've been at, I've been on Earth, you know, getting getting a, getting a, a very important item." So basically, and God just said, "What type of item is that?" And, and that's the Carl Anthony said that, you know, ma, uh, uh, pull up a bat a marshmallow and say, this will, you know, like, and, and God was like, you know, what the hell, you, uh, like, you know, you went to Earth to get, get a bat of marshmallows, and he said, these, uh, these bat of marshmallows can help, this, uh, these bat of marshmallows can help us to, help us to defeat, this bat of marshmallows gives me an idea as to how to defeat the kill majors. And this how the episode ended with, with, uh, what Carl Ransler, what God was watching Carl Ransler eating, Marshmallows and eating marshmallows and saying these mar these marshmallows gave me the perfect idea how to beat the beat the kill majors and so basically this how the episode ended with with guards are watching Carl Ryan eating marshmallows and so anyway. So anyway, this was a good episode. So basically, this was a very good episode. So basically, you know, Takamichi and, and Princess Marvel Center are now are now talking to each other again. So basically, this was a pretty good episode. But I, uh, I'm still wondering how uh, how a bag of uh, how a bag of marshmallows is gonna help is gonna help Karansla uh, uh, is gonna help Karansla defeat the kill mages. But you know, we have to wait. We have to wait to the next episode. But anyway, this was a good episode. So basically, this uh, this was a good episode. So anyway, uh, so anyway, like always, what do you guys think about this episode? Was it good? Was it bad? Or was it just okay? Please let me know in the comments below this podcast. So anyway, like always, this is Michael from Screen Review. Sign off. One.